Greetings, River Road Church family. These are difficult times, no doubt about it. In light of the spread of the novel coronavirus, we are worried about what we know and what we don't know. But I have to tell you that one thing that is giving me hope is the resilience of River Road Church. And while this current crisis is new to us all, we are responding by being the church we are called to be, even if that means we do some things differently. For one thing, yesterday was our first attempt at an online live video worship service. And from the feedback I have already received from you, it sounds like it was a success. Now, I know nothing comes close to worshiping alongside one another, together in our sanctuary, singing our praises and sharing rich fellowship. But I can only hope that until we do that again, the online service serves as a good substitute. And just this morning, your church staff met for more than two hours to do several things. First, we discussed strategies to move our ministry from face-to-face -to, -face to a more virtual environment. And let me tell you, that's easier said than done. But we're committed to it. We also decided that it's most prudent to cancel or postpone Wednesday night dinner and program and we'll make an official announcement about next Sunday very soon. And last, if your ears were burning, we were talking about you. We are concerned that in this time of social distancing and isolation, that we do not neglect our River Road family, who need us now more than ever. So even though we may not be gathering together in our church building, we are still the church. And as I said yesterday in my sermon, now is the time for us to live out that high and holy calling. Now is the time for us to reach out in love, to serve one another, and to trust that the God who has been our help in ages past will be our hope even now and for years to come. Church, I love you, and I'm praying for you.